Hey there, uh, this is Mike from Acromedia and just wanted to go over an update uh, recently made to the um, Urban Hipster Drupal Commerce demo site. Um, so with uh, Drupal 8.4 coming out a while back, uh, they released the uh, media module in the core. Um, and what the media module allows you to do is to uh, set up and create um, content entities that are based on uh, media, so video, audio, images, whatever. Um, and so this is this is new uh, for Drupal because now it gives us a way where we can actually manage media as opposed to just you know uploading an image or whatever or using the IMCE um, you know that that kind of plugin. Uh, this gives us an actual place in core where we can manage media. Um, so we wanted to use that in, in our demo site and just one example of how you could use that. Um, so what we've done is we have our Epic Mixtape um, product. It's a digital download product. And previously we just had a file upload field um, for this product type um, where you just upload the file and then that would be the file that you get when you complete your purchase. Um, so by using the media module, um, we now have uh, a place where we can upload albums um, and then we can have sample audio tracks as well as the full ed audio track. And uh, then at the product level, we can then select, you know, what album we want to attach to this product. And uh, then we can provide that sample uh, at the product and then as well as the uh, full downloads at checkout. So let's, let's take a look at that. Um, so here's our product. And if I scroll down here, um, we have our samples, and then we have a list of, uh, you know, just a bunch of um, audio tracks for this this album. Um, and if I edit this product, um, and I scroll down here, you'll see that I have album samples, and I have this uh, epic mixtape by Urban Hipster. Um, so this is this is a, a an entity reference field that's referencing. Um, the album's uh, media type that's that's part of the that that I've added to the media module. Um, if I go into the variations, so the variations, the actual thing that you would you would buy. Um, here we now have another entity reference field for the um, for the album um, for the full the full download. Um, so that's that's how you would pick it. Pretty easy, just referencing an entity. Um, so now let's look at the actual entity. Um, so under structure, when you install the module, you get this uh, media types uh, link now here. Um, and if I go into that, you can see add media types. And I've added already this one called album. And if I edit that, and I, uh, you can see here just in the configuration for this media type um, that the source is audio. Um, and if I go to the fields, you can see that I have a, a file field for the sample track as well as the media track. Um, so that's kind of the setup, very similar to a content type or a custom block type or any of that kind of stuff with Drupal. Uh, if I go into uh, content here, uh, you can see there's now an add media quick link for adding media. And because I have a type called album, it gives, us, gives me that option. And if I clicked on that, uh, it allows me to set a name, and then here's where I'd upload the tracks, the sample and the full tracks. Um, but let's look at the one that's already uh, completed. So if I just go to the content window, um, we now have two new tabs, files and media. Um, files just lets you preview or view all of the files that are on the system, um, lots of them. Um, but if I go to media, this is where we're kind of focused on here. Um, this is where we can see all of the different um, media entities that have been added through uh, through our media type. Um, so here's the add media button, which is the same as you know going content add media, and then let you let, it'd let you choose your your type then. Um, but here's the epic mixtape that we had added that I had added earlier. So if I edit that, okay, you'll see here's the name. And then here's all of the sample tracks, as well as the description. Um, and if I scroll down, then we have our full tracks and all of the full versions of those songs. 
and that's it. So now that this entity, you know, this media type has been created, um, that's what allows me to then go into the product and select uh, this album uh, media. And that's that's pretty much it. So um, it's it's pretty easy to use. You're basically just setting up your media types, and then however you need to use them, you can reference them to bring them into your products or uh, content types or whatever it is that you're you're building. And then uh, on the front end, if I go back to this, um, I had to do some. Uh, you can set up how it looks in the uh, display uh, settings for the media type as to how. You know this renders you can use an audio widget which is what i'm using now and so this is just the default audio player of the browser um, in firefox or wherever else it would look different uh, this is chrome um, but i had to do a little bit of customization just in the twig template uh, so that i could print out the um, the description here for use as the title for each album and uh, let me just do one more thing here um, I'll add this to the cart, and I'll go through the checkout flow. So I'll just quickly check out. And sure, continue to review. Pay and complete purchase. And here we go. So here's our checkout complete page. And again, I also modified that page so that it spits out. Now we're looking at the full versions of the the media entity. So we had the samples on the product page. Now on the checkout complete page, we have the uh, full versions that we can download. Uh, you can play, or there's you know download button right here. And that's pretty much it. Using the uh, the media module uh, came standard in Drupal 8.4. And here's an example of how you can use it uh, with Drupal Commerce. Thanks. <laughs>